Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, your man on us. I have the six. And we're playing Madden 19 Puppy Pants. Puppy Pants? We're pantsing the puppies with our Madden 19 relocated Toronto Mounties franchise. As always... Playing offense only, we're simming that. Oh my D. God, is the D C The D it's, simmed. It's simmed today? It's simmed always. I didn't expect the it to D be. The D is always simmed. This, this is an utter surprise Simulated D. <laughs> my, my favorite kind. Yes. When we're using that bounce playbook. We're in the playoffs, dude. We made it. We lost the game. Yeah, but we still made it to the playoffs. Barely. I mean, we'll still win There's the a hooker Bowl. on our team, Malik. I'm not concerned about our perfect record. Uh, you should be. Dimensionally. There's a blemish. There's a blemish? A blemish on our perfect season. I don't know, man. It was kind of it was kind of exciting to not win a game for once. Okay. Do you want me to lose some more? No. Okay. I want you to win every game. I just, Ooh, it was like I was lost. actually I was actually worried. It was like watching my brownies. Uh, there's no worry. They're never going to win. <laughs> they won games this hey, season. Hey, this year they won almost as many as they lost. God damn it. Hell yeah. Look at this. We're already down in the playoffs. I mean, oh yeah, this is winner go home, right? Oh yeah, we go home if we lose. All right, so we, we, gotta, have make to win. we gotta make sure that doesn't work or that doesn't happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because if we lose, like, what, what would you do? I would never do another Madden video ever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> don't, or something less don't, extreme. <laughs> the cognitive dissonance. <laughs> I'm being pulled in two directions. <laughs> we all know you're not a Madden guy. No, dude, Madden's, Madden's fine. I enjoy anything that I do with my good friend Jonas. Ah, oh, shit! It's like we're fucking Larry and Daryl and Daryl and his other brother Daryl. I don't care if we're doing Madden or we're doing the podcast or we're doing My Little Pony. Red Dead, or <laughs> we're doing uh, Resident Evil. Are you going to play a Resident Evil? Maybe. We got so many games I'm going to play, dude. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe? I might, dude. It's, like, out now, too. Yeah, it's out. It's available. If we oh, were more Seals Jones. He's never going to get out alive. <laughs> if we were more popular, we could have got it early. Yeah? Yeah, there were some streamers that were playing it early. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe but we can get Madden early next year. Who are you gonna you gonna talk to EA? I'm gonna give him a call, dude. If there's anybody you want to be in bed with, it should be EA. Oh yeah, because they're all about ripping and tearing. I don't know what that means, but uh, <laughs> no, because they have a lot of different IPs. Is what I was saying. They that. do. They got a lot of sports IPs. They got the whole Disney thing going for them. Oh yeah, they yeah. got the whole Bioware thing, right? Yeah. See, like EA is where you want to be. Why don't you schmooze a little bit with them, dude? I don't. Holiday is holiday, and the sun has ended. He's doing the backwards. Whoa! He did the chicken dance a little bit. A little bit back. Man, if we ever did that. If we ever did what? chicken dance why would we do it because we're cool what do you mean just like do it in the living room or something uh yeah we could like get on roller skates and pretend we're at the roller i'm rink. not getting on roller skates do you roller skate Jones? Uh, i don't like it <laughs> what I'm very, i don't i'm like very it. not nimble like that like i mean i can do things but like i don't feel very comfortable i'm sorry this is it's just a little vague i can do things but i mean i can use them do i enjoy it not particularly are you saying you do not have the dexterity to uh, operate i mean on, i can roller skates i just don't want to break myself well, i mean i get you but like when you're young like you can fall on your neck bone all you want. You know, I never like roller skates because of one reason. Why? I remember I was ice skating. Or I've no, never, I was roller skating. I've never ice skated. I was roller skating, and somebody, I fell, and somebody rolled over my fucking fingers with their roller skates. Oh, 
that's worse than falling. And it was like, it was like that aversion you get when you like drink spoiled milk and you're like, I'm never drinking another glass of milk oh, ever in life. Oh, that's so bad, yeah. <laughs> it was like, I'm never going roller skating again. Yeah, have you? No. Well, it's not. better than if you're ice skating and someone ran over your feet. <laughs> yeah, and I was always afraid to ice skate for that very same reason. Uh, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't dig it. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I'm just like, if I don't care for something and I don't, I don't do I'm, it yeah, yeah man i mean that's the whole thing about being an adult and living in like a first world nation oh seals jones he's never gonna get out alive folks it's a kiss from a rose on the end zone man we're kicking these fuckers asses yeah, oh dude. the hard salute oh. he fucking disappeared he saluted so hard <laughs> he was part magician part <laughs> soldier He's that magic space army. Broke through a dimensional rift. He fucking, he's going to end up on the Desperados. Yeah. Well, he said, <laughs> he's never. Oh, I'm going to get. Oh, boy. I've lost Jonas, a lot of yards now. Jonas, what are you doing, man? Uh, making what? things happen. Why are you running like backwards and shit? Oh, because I'm never going to get out alive. Uh, Jonas. Yeah. You ever been uh, streaking? No. No? Nah, dude. I've never, never dangled my, my dangle out in the... Never been naked in public? Nah, dude. I don't think so. No? Would, would you would you do it now? No, probably not. No? All right. I'll just ask you. I mean, I don't really have a reason to. No? Would you, would you do porn? <laughs> would I do porn? <laughs> yeah. no, I'm good, dude. <laughs> what if they paid you, Jonas? I'm good. Really? Yeah, I don't think nobody wants to see that. <laughs> 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 Who cares what they want to see? You get to have sex on camera for money. I think I'm good. Dude. Okay, I mean that's I mean, fine. Is I don't. Good? Wow, that guy he just like fell down. Yeah, dude, what about you? Why are you all flustered? I'm not flustered at you're all. Flustered. You're acting flustered. I'm acting flustered. You were, yeah, you look got a flustered look on your face. I was fucking... Do you see what happened to the quarterback? Yeah. That's what I was fucking talking about. Dude, he's fine, though. Would you Would you get paid on camera to have have the sexual relations? I don't, honestly, I don't see a downside Would you quit? To it. I don't see a downside to it. If you're single or, you know, you have that type of relationship where your your significant other is like, yeah, that's cool, whatever, <laughs> then I don't really see a downside to it. I'm about working smarter, not harder. Okay. So That's why would fair, I, I go to school for like no kids? Look, don't don't get into porn. This is oh, terrible. Jesus Christ! <laughs> but, you know, you could be a doctor and make like millions of dollars a year. True. Or you could be like a a, a male slut and just make a like a male slut. Yeah, and just That's make a gigolo. Can you make millions of dollars a year doing that? I I I don't know. I don't know any. I haven't inquired into the no? into the financial records of male sluts. I don't know where to find one of <laughs> male those. Male porn stars, I'm sorry. Fucking gigolos. No, because you got to sell it to be a gigolo. You're selling oh, it. Oh, I got you. Like, there, uh, I don't know. Is there a distinction between, like... Then why haven't you looked into this in your life? Why haven't I looked into yeah, it? Yeah, if you're all about working, not smart. I mean, I'm sure if you, like, wanted to, you could really make it happen. I don't know, like moral fiber, I guess. Oh, moral fiber. So so that didn't come into play before. Not with you, no. I'm not concerned oh. about your moral fiber. You're like, but I have moral fiber. No! And Jonas, you're, you're, I'm, you're here to to boggle my mind with nonsense, and I'm here to make you say things that you would <laughs> normally say and get you in your mouth in trouble. That's what our that's our thing. Uh, that's our dynamic. <laughs> you're like, here, freestyle rap. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, here, it's your turn. You're like, yeah, dude, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> That was off camera, though. Yeah, but that's if you want to do one, that it happens across all realms of our. <laughs> <laughs> that was off camera, though. They're all like, no, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Would you do it? No, dude, I got morals. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! What? I have morals too. Well, of course, you may probably do. This <laughs> son of a bitch. Trying to fucking make me out to be a terrible person. <laughs> Who's calling me? A, somebody called me. Somebody who calls? Who calls you? I don't know. I was tempted to answer. It might be a girl. Uh, well, maybe you don't know unless you answer. It could be a lady calling you to ask you to pay a bill too. Uh, yeah, it came across Just because it's a woman doesn't mean it's that it's restricted. Oh shit! You know it's. Oh god. I don't trust no restricted numbers. Oh fuck no! I don't even trust the number that's not restricted. That's not my phone book. Yeah, that's it's like. 
any more of those scammers have all those uh, those spoofers? Like, it's funny because, like, I have an Ohio phone number still, <laughs> but I live in Texas. I get so many Ohio random calls, and they're all like, this is credit card company calling you. And I'm like, bitch, I don't live in Ohio. <laughs> like, it's, like, come on. I have an Ohio number, too. But you have yours is different than mine. Yeah, your area code is what three three zero three three zero. Yeah, I got a two one six. Oh there. shit! Original gangster. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, it's tied up, dude. I don't like this. Because all my family lives in the two one six. Yeah, dude. Like, so I just don't answer anything, and then they leave a message. It's like, and then it's like the message starts before it actually leave a message, and it'll be like, "Call back earliest convenience, credit card." I'm like, nope. Come on, guys. Like. And the saddest part is, is that's the the little amount of effort they have to give to scam people. <laughs> like, oh my god, Ooh. they can give. <laughs> that's like a U, that's like the UFC move where they like you just hit him and fucking the ball flew a thousand feet. Like, yeah, they can call someone and go, "Hi, we're calling from your credit card. What's your number?" And people give it to them. That's <laughs> the sadness of this world. That like. That's all the effort you have to put in to scam a person. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're an old person, though. Dude. Like, I'm not giving my credit card number to anybody over the phone. Most of that shit's automated now. Well, yeah, unless you call someone and make a, and are making a payment or you're, dude, what the, that's literally interference. Nah, dude, you gotta. He stood in front of him. <laughs> he literally stopped his progress and he was running in place like a good little AI soldier. Yeah, I bet all your referees are from California too. Yeah, right. Yeah, dude, it's I don't I don't know, man. It's it's just it blows my mind the the amount of stupidity that people have like that can get scammed by like someone just calling and saying, "Hi, credit card, give us your number. You're you need to pay us." And they're like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, I mean it does happen. It does happen. You ever had your identity stolen? No. Nah. No? Nope. It's happened to me twice. I really? Think. Yeah. One time they caught it, and then another time, I think I actually told the story on camera before, but another so. time they got all the money in my bank account, and they bought like a bunch of like iTunes stuff. Oh, really? No, I don't think you've ever told this story, because I, re- I probably would remember that. That's crazy. So the first time your bank like called you and said, hey, we, we ca- froze your card? No, well, that was actually the second time. But the first time it happened, I don't know, it was probably like 19. I was at a first marriage, too. And I went to the grocery store, and I couldn't get anything. So then I go to the bank, and they're like, no, nah, it looks like you bought $800 worth of fucking iTunes cards. I'm like, wait, what? Like, no, I, I did re- not. I'm I like, I didn't make that. it. I don't have... I don't have all of Diddy's albums in my... <laughs> I'm like, I didn't make any of these purchases. And they're like, oh, this was like right around Christmas. I couldn't get Christmas presents. Yeah, when this is right when probably identity theft started, right? Oh, like, yeah. I told this on the podcast. I remember Did it you really? I don't remember yeah, this. I do. But, uh, yeah, it kind of sucked, man. Because I couldn't... Uh, there's no kind of about it. Like, it <laughs> definitely sucked. Yeah, it took like th- three or four days for me to get my shit. Yeah, dude, they, uh, I mean, and now they're a lot better about it because, like, it happens so much, but, yeah, dude, it's, um, like, my grandma one time told me that she, uh, not she didn't get her identity stolen, but, like, she was like, oh, they called, and they, this, that, and the other, and I gave them the credit card, next thing I know, oh, my God, did you see his face get ripped off with the wind the, from the swish of his goddamn Nike boots? Um, it's a swoosh? Yeah, dude. And she was like, and I gave them the card number. Next thing you know, they charged whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, but what did they say when they called, Grandma? And she was like, um, it, whatever she said. And I was like, <laughs> whatever. I don't remember she what it was, said. but it was something like, well, they called and asked. And I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, Grandma, please, please don't ever, <laughs> ever give out your credit card. If you call someone and are making a payment, that's fine. If anyone ever calls you and asks for your card number, do not give them any information no. about yourself, please. Yeah. Tell them you'll call them back. Well, you know, there was a time, Jonas, where that type of shit didn't happen. Yeah, it, you're right. And so a person of your grandmother's age is not going to realize well, I mean, and, that when those and when and that transition you, happened. This is the grandmother that they didn't even want. They didn't even get an answering machine until I was in high school. I was tw- no, I was 28 years old when they got an answering machine, and they got it by mistake because they bought a new cordless phone that had one, and they didn't know came with a cord. It came with an answering machine. What the fuck is an answering machine? Yeah, right. And uh, they don't have they don't have the internet. Like she bar- she has like a, a track phone that she uses like, but she didn't get it till like I was like. Uh, it was. Oh, dude! It was. It's, she got like I've, an Obama phone. 
No, not an Obama phone, but um, dude, I'm getting sacked. <laughs> but you didn't get sacked. Ooh, I didn't, but I have to kick a long ass field goal. Um, yeah, I mean, old people are always going to be susceptible to that type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, but dude. it's not just old people, dude. I mean, yeah, it's stupid people. But I didn't want to call. I didn't want to group them in with the old people. Anything, but I didn't want to group them in with the old people. Dude, I can't. It's like it's hard. I just I don't Whoa, know. That's, it's just. That's hard. I guess it's just sad to me that like that little effort, like, like if someone who was actually like really intelligent wanted to scam people, they could just make so much money. I mean, yeah. Why don't you start scamming people? Because I don't want to go to jail, and well, I have morals. Oh well, don't get caught. Yes, the, the criminal's number one motto. Duh. I'm just not going to get caught this time. Yeah. I Dude, mean, I have this, this really great idea to do something illegal. I'm not going to get caught, see? It's, and then you're like, That's yes. how it works, Jonas. Yep. Duh. Says every person in jail. Yeah, well, every <laughs> You think every person, any person in jail is like, I'm going to do this crime and I'm going to get caught today. Uh, I mean, no, probably. But they probably t- just don't take into consideration, like, all the options. Yeah, but, like, especially now with forensics and shit, get them dude, called. like, you can't do anything. Oh, yeah. And you're not selling drugs and getting rich. Look, and if you're still selling cocaine in 2019, you're, you're just going to go to jail. This ain't the 90s. <laughs> it certainly ain't the 80s. And I'll be goddamned if it's the 70s. You are not making a million dollars off of selling cocaine. Unless you're, like, the guy who gets it from, like, Columbia and you're no, selling you're it. Not, like, not even then. That, dude, those people are making The guy who has the coca farm. That like they, oh, well, yeah, yeah, they're making yeah, millions of yeah, dollars, yeah, but like yeah. not like the little guy who's selling fucking. I don't even, how do you sell coke? <laughs> I don't even know how you <laughs> how buy. Do you sell I don't even know how what in what measurements you buy and you sell cocaine in. Put it in a bag and you ask the person <laughs> like a for garbage a money. bag. Like here you go, friend. Yeah, man, you sell them with like fucking the Lickamade dipping sticks. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't even know the measurements on how to sell it. Kilos, and big boy. Kilos. Yeah. That's like a that's, that's a, a metric. Lot. That's a like lot of us coke. U.S. folks are using metrics to sell cocaine. No, like eight balls, I guess. What is an eight ball? I don't know. Right, dude. That's what I mean. Like I've heard the term eight ball. I don't know how much it is in weight. Yeah, but I know about slang. Let's eight call Pusha T right now and ask him. Call Pusha T. Ask him how much weight is a is an eight ball. <laughs> how much weight call, you pushing, Pusha? Let's call Push. Yo, you should get Pusha T on the podcast. Uh, you should get him on the podcast. How do you think? Why do you think I would have a better chance of getting Pusha T than because, you? Because, because you and him are friends. We're not though. You're not. No. I think you're just making a a, a, a judgment call here based on our skin tone. Wow. Yeah. You get Pusha T. He would laugh at me. He would laugh at me too. All these fucking jerks. Dude, <laughs> Why are you mad? too close for comfort. I mean, but we're winning. We are till now. Exactly. Oh, no, we aren't. We See, still look aren't. at you. You're already jumping the gun and talking Dude, crazy talk. This is, we, you said we were kicking their ass. We haven't done anything in a while. Um, We're winning. I guess that's all we need to do. <laughs> I mean, so, like, you, exactly. you, does, you. does Pusha T have a uh, Twitter? Does he have a Twitter? Does he have a Twitter? Uh, Why don't I'd you hit up Drake so. and tell Drake to have Push a call you? Wow. you know, oh, yeah, friends. yeah. I do know Drake, though. So. Yeah, you and Drake are homies. But I don't think him and Push are homies. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that that's not the truth. Yeah, they don't care for each other. Yeah. That's unfortunate, man. I want to get into a hip-hop beef. You want, Like, you want to be part of one or you yeah. want to talk about one? Yeah, man. It's just a good publicity. That's why I've been trying to get you to... <laughs> what, you want me to make a diss track drop like Yellow dis- Wolf or something? Drop fucking your diss track to me. I will. I, when I make my when I make my EP, I'm a I'm a diss. Your like, EP? My, we've uh, go, we've gone from a fucking a song that we're supposed to do together to a diss track to an entire project. Yeah, and we're gonna oh, make and we're okay. gonna diss and we're gonna diss Lil Xan. We're gonna diss. We're, uh, we're gonna grown ass men. We're gonna diss a twelve year old boy. I'm not dissing Lil Xan. I'm joking. We're not gonna do that. I don't care about Lil Xan. <laughs> I don't either. Who are we gonna diss then? Do you want to be in a beef? Or are we gonna we gonna make rival rap songs where we diss each other? <laughs> <laughs> the Crazy Town Rift. <laughs> I mean, other platforms have done that, and they've seen some minor success with it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Who do you who do you not like? In, uh, like rap? Yeah. I don't know. I don't care. Do you want to like? You don't want to diss Trump or something, do you? Oh shit. <laughs> Barkley. Nobody likes Mitch McConnell. Let's diss him. <laughs> like the guy from the government? <laughs> yeah. The guy looks like a turtle. 
Oh my god, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, the turtle guy. He's like, he's, he's like the guy who's gonna be like, you yeah, know, fucking Christ, dude, we score, they score. Um, he's like, you just gotta draw this out. Oh, and steady wins the race, guys. <laughs> so I feel like he says every time he opens his mouth. <laughs> Basically, I don't watch that stuff though. Oh God! Oh, and oh, and dude, there's dude, the I'm not touchdown. Even using the burners. I'm just. Oh God! Here you comes fucking Usain used Bolt. The fucking star boy. I'm a motherfucking star boy. Boom! God, dude. Why is fucking? How do What's they got guys do? with jetpacks out there? Okay. All right. Oh yeah. Point. What was that? He pointed, dude. He saw somebody in the stands. He knew. Oh, he's like, Mama, I'm coming home. <laughs> Mama, I'm coming home. He's like, Mama, Samson. What song is that, Jonas? Uh, Mama, isn't that a fucking uh, is that kid Ozzy rock? Is that kid rock. Uh, said, Mama, Mama, I'm. I think that's uh, Ozzy, dude. We're back to finish this one off. Mama, I'm coming. I gotta get a new phone, Jonas. I still, I'm still using an S6. It is Ozzy. You're At, right. You know, S10 is out. Yeah, and I have an S6. Dude, you have almost half of them as old as they are. So if you think about the S10 being out, and they come out with one, what, every two years? No, every three. year. Has it been every year? Yeah, they do. They put one out every year. But, dude, <clears throat> like, I'm surprised you can still run all the apps. Like, because, like, they need, like, you, do you have the freshest version of Android, or do you, like, nine versions back? Like, they don't even oh, support. Oh, I'm, like, nine things. versions. They don't even support your phone anymore. A lot of them don't. You're right. <laughs> but I don't really care, because all I use on my phone is YouTube. Yeah, you don't, like, yeah, I got you. Like, you don't need a bunch of new apps. Yeah, man. YouTube and Reddit, as long as I can do those two things, we're, we're good. That's true. And, like, that's kind of the thing I, like, I do think that's kind of where everybody upgrades their phone all the time. Like, a lot of times you don't need the upgrade. Like, it's literally the same exact yeah. thing. They're just trying to get more money out of your pocket. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, that's the point. And I don't really want to, like, get another 12-year fucking Verizon lock-in contract. They don't do that anymore. They don't? No, you have to rent your phone now. You have to rent your phone now. Yeah, you have to pay a monthly surcharge for your phone. They don't do contracts anymore. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, you don't do like a two-year contract and get your phone for like a hundred bucks. Like now, you pay like thirty bucks a month for your phone for two years, and then you either and then what? Then, then you, can, you give it back to them, and then you can get an upgrade. Yeah, or oh, I mean. or a lot of times you can do that, and then every year you get a brand new phone. So you basically rent it for a year and then you give it back to them. But I imagine there's like an upfront cost to rent it or some no. shit. The first one, or well, if you're upgrading, isn't there? No. Really? No, you just pay. You pay X amount per month, and then after a year, you're eligible for a new phone. You go and you get the new phone. You start paying for that one every month. I kind of hate it, but I kind of oh, I fucking don't. hate it for sure. Because I would use my phone for way more than two years. I don't need a new phone every year. I don't want to pay thirty dollars a month for a goddamn cell phone. I'm already paying. What if you? What if, goddamn much for internet? All right. So what if I go and buy a phone from a third party and I take it in there? Well, you can just turn it on, as long as it's unlocked and you can use it on any carrier. And you can you can have your phone company unlock I mean, it as long as it's not in contract. But a lot of times they just want you to like adhere to their like fucking what they got going on. So they wouldn't want you. to. I don't know what that even means. As long as you're <laughs> they not want in you contract, to conform to their policy, so they wouldn't allow you to bring in a third party phone. No, they will absolutely. They if you will. bring in a phone and say, "I want this phone turned on. I want service," they'll activate it as long as it's not locked. And then you don't have to pay the thirty dollars no. a month. <laughs> you could like buy a used phone off eBay. That's unlocked and not like. You probably have to pay for the SIM card. Yeah, you have to buy a SIM card. Yeah, your your own SIM card. Yeah, yeah. that's what you do. But they're they're somewhat inexpensive. I mean, it's like it's not very expensive. Or I'd you rather go, pay that than that for thirty dollars a month. Or you could take that phone to like a uh, oh god to like a. Um, Ooh. Woo His friends are calling. They said we were coming over to party. Can you go to the NFC Championship game, friends? Um. Yeah, dude, you could just buy one off eBay and then go to, like, Cricket Wireless or some shit. I'm not going to Cricket Wireless. Around here, they're actually really good because you're in a city. Like, so you, as long if you don't go out of the city, you have great service everywhere. Would you get a Cricket Wireless No, phone? because I go outside the city. <laughs> then why would you think I want you a Cricket? You don't go outside the city. Yeah, but why do you have a, a Cleveland phone number? Because I don't want to change it. I've had it for 10 okay, years. Okay, and why do you think I want to change you mine? Your number You're over, pulling dude. a me on me. Dude. You're trying to get me to do dude. something that you wouldn't do. I don't. <laughs> 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 it's 
is revenge for trying to fucking Again. put different words in my mouth. Fucking bullshit, cricket wireless motherfuckers. Fucking bullshit, cricket wireless motherfuckers. We win. Was there ever any doubt? What? That we would win. Uh, there was for a second. I had a little bit of doubt. Look at how far we are ahead of them. That game was actually closer than it looked, but it was still. Uh oh yeah, we 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 pulled away at the end. So that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. While you're at it, lie to those friends. Tell them to check us out too. But for Jonas, for TNT Dynamite, we'll see you in the mm. NFC Championship game. We are Ooh. out.